Hey everybody and welcome back to another epilogue laser project. Today we're making some fabric PPE masks from old t-shirts. We'll be using an epilogue mini 24 today, but this project can be done on any of our machines. Old t-shirts tend to be readily available and inexpensive materials, so they're a great option for making non-medical grade masks for you to use right now. There are two main ways that you can handle putting your material into your laser machine. One is simply to place the shirt directly into your machine's work area. There are two things to consider when doing this. First, you need to make sure that the laser head has the proper clearance to move around the machine without catching on the material. So you'll want to make sure the shirt doesn't bunch up in any areas. The second thing to keep in mind is you'll want your material to be as flat as possible so you end up with consistent cuts. We'll be cutting through two layers of shirt material, but we want to make sure there are no folds or bunches that will take the surface of the material out of focus with the laser. Once we have our material in the machine and focused, we'll head over to Adobe Illustrator with our file. We have this project file available for you in multiple formats, so be sure to check out our links below to find the ones that you prefer. We'll print over to the epilogue engraver, making sure our media size matches our work area. And then within the epilogue dashboard, we'll configure our print settings. The speed and power you use here will depend slightly on the thickness of your t-shirt material. We're working with thin to medium weight cottons, and we found that for two layers, a speed of 75% and a power of 35% worked quite well with a frequency of 2500. If you end up needing to only cut through one of these layers, knock that power down to about 25% and you should be good to go. But again, play around with the settings until you find something that works for you. Now that we have the settings configured, we can go ahead and print to the machine. One more thing to consider here, since we're potentially working with some irregularly shaped materials, is to make sure the graphic is placed properly and will fit within your material. One way to do this is to press the pointer button to turn on the red dot pointer. Then with the machine's lid open, run the job and watch the red dot to see where the laser will cut. If the laser goes off of the material, you'll want to go back into your graphic software and adjust the placement accordingly. But once you're confident about the placement of your graphic, go ahead and press the go button to run the job. The laser makes quick work of the t-shirt and within about 30 to 40 seconds, you have yourself a pair of masks. The second option for handling the material, which takes a little more time up front but might reduce some of your work at the laser, is for you to cut up the t-shirts beforehand. With a medium to large shirt, you should be able to get three to four nice rectangles of material, depending on the size of the shirt's neckline. Using this method reduces the chances of bunching and folds as you prep the material in the machine, but ultimately how you handle this is up to you. These jobs are really easy to run, and you can take a whole stack of old t-shirts and create a lot of masks in fairly short order. Now, if you're wondering why the masks have four holes in them, that's because they're designed to be folded up to provide two layers of protection. And doing so creates a slot into which you can place a folded up tissue, paper towel, or another filtering material. Again, these are not medical grade masks and they should not be used as such, but every little bit of barrier helps. And there you have it, super quick, easy to make masks from old t-shirts and an epilogue laser. Thanks everyone and stay healthy.